Hey guys, it's me, Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and do a what I sold video today. This is going to be for July 12th through the 14th. It was kind of a slow weekend. I only sold 31 items. Um, so yeah, average about 10 items a day and that leads to a slow weekend. So let me go ahead and get on with this and I will show you the items I sold. Okay, so the first item will be this Tonquin Alfred Meekin Bowl. Um, had this for a while and just wanted to get rid of it. It was either sell it at $5 or toss it in the trash. So I decided to sell it at $5 because hey, $5 is better than nothing. And I got it in a box lot of stuff, so I really didn't pay anything for it. Next item is the Shakespeare Russell Model GE Fly Reel. This sold for $20 plus shipping. Next, we have this Holy Bible, this Collins Holy Bible with a clear type press from 1958. And this sold for $10 plus shipping. Okay. Next, we have this Springfield Wireless Digital Range Rain Gauge, excuse me, with the remote. Uh, it does, tells the weather temperature and all that other stuff. But this sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Next is a Silver Chief Dog of the North. Like I said, I bought a ton of books. Um, still going through them. I think I have two more boxes to do. So that's it. And this sold for $6 plus shipping. Next item is this vintage Napa Compartment Storage Parts Organizer Metal Blue Box with grommets. And this sold for $30 plus shipping. Next is this Purple Chrome Step Plate, seven and a quarter inch pair. And this sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Next is this vintage men's handkerchief hankies. A lot of six. These are never used, brand new. And they're in like this little Christmas gift box. It was so cute. Anyway, this sold for $7.50 plus shipping. Next is this golden book of poetry. Um, again, from this book, lots I got. And this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next item is this Johnson Everood Transform Plate, sold for $14.45 plus shipping. Now we have these Drafting Pencil Abrasive Refill Cups. It's a three-piece set, and this sold for $12 plus shipping. <laughs> these tablecloths, which I honestly didn't think would, I guess, wouldn't sell, I don't know, but I said, eh, we have a few of them, I'll just throw them on. So these sold for $8 plus shipping. Oh, my nose always itches when I'm in here. The next item is this vintage 14 karat gold nugget bracelet. It's 3.09 grams, uh, six and a half inches. I paid $10 at an auction for this and I sold it for 85 plus shipping. Um, when, when I listed it, I looked up the um, value and it was $75.49. And um, I'm going to show you what I do um, with my jewelry pieces after this. The next item is this old oh shit pin. It's an old motorcycle collectible biker's pin for their vest or hat. And this sold for $8.95 plus shipping. Next is this Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica Marvel Whitman 1978 vintage comic book. Uh, this is number one. Um, this did sell for $8.95 plus shipping. Next is this um, Vintage Mr. Peanuts 1950 tall paper three pound bag um, that they would put peanuts in. And this from Wilkes Barrel, Barry, Pennsylvania. And this sold for $24.95 plus shipping. And I do have another one of these for sale. This vintage um, PVC Bart Simpson on a skateboard figure sold for $6 plus shipping. This Windline TDL three step. Uh, step over platform telescoping boat ladder sold for $115 plus shipping. This Aspco Chicago pencil sharpener type 2 A cutter. Um, it works good. It was sharp. I tried it out and this sold for $10 plus shipping. 
this vintage Dan Shook 2007 catalog uh, for 55 through 57 Chevy parts. And this sold for $8 plus shipping. <clears throat> this quick set 15 signature series Avalon right-handed single dummy lever, um, door lever, I got this at Goodwill for 99 cents and it sold for $8 plus shipping. This new Mattel 1995 Collector's Edition Enchanted Evening Barbie doll sold for $12 plus shipping, and I got this with that huge lot of Barbies I talked about before. Next is this uh, new tag Slogger's uh, Men's Sun Hat sold for $19.99 plus shipping. These Olsum Motor Oil decals, this person bought two of them for $3.75 each, so they paid $7.50 plus shipping. Sears uh, 1992 Wish Book sold for $16 plus shipping. This Crybaby Calf um, Elf Book sold for $18 plus shipping, sorry. Vintage TRW Vulcan Tools Catalog sold for $8 plus shipping. This vintage porcelain enamelware um, oval plate sold, it's gray and white, and that sold for $5 plus shipping. This Nissan Outboard Motor Parts Catalog sold for $8.50 plus shipping. Vintage Sports Fisher Frog Topwater Jitterbug Style Lore sold for $9.95 plus shipping. This Rattle Trap Blue Shiner Lore sold for $3.50 plus shipping. And um, with that, we um, bought two uh, fishing boxes just full of lore. So didn't pay much. Okay, so that's everything for the 12th through the 14th in sales. Like I said, wasn't very many sales. Um, pretty disappointing since the week I had before the weekend was really good, but it'll pick up. Anyway, I want to show you something I do um, for my precious metal jewelry, my gold, my silver. I have something like a fuzzy in my hair. Anyway, I um, all my jewelry I bag up in these little baggies and um, just so they don't get tangled, the necklaces, nothing like that. But if it's gold or um, silver, what I do is I label it. I put 14 karat bracelet. I put the weight. BB is the auction I bought it from and then how much I paid. So BB10 is I bought it at Brastic's auction for $10. And then I put what the value was at the time of me listing it. So the value was $75.49 at the time of me listing it. Um, and how I get that value is I go on to this app. Go ahead and get that here. Oops. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting it. Okay, I go on to this app called Coinflation. On my phone, I have little um, folders for my apps because I have a lot of apps, and I have one called Business Tools, and it's got my IQ for my mileage, um, Michael Daddy Bookkeeping, my numbers, um, USPS, Worth Point. Anyway, I click on this Coinflation app. Now, I know it's probably not the most accurate, whatever, but if you have a usable piece, um, it helps you kind of give it an idea. You don't want to sell it to somebody below scrap because that's silly. You can just go scrap it yourself. So I click gold scrap, and this bracelet was three point um, zero nine grams. And then I scroll up and it's 14 karat purity. You can change that if you want. Um, I don't want to change it because it was 14 karat. And then you just calculate and it will tell you that the scrap value today is 82.56. Now, the scrap value of when I sold this piece was actually down. It was um, when I listed it was 74.59. When I sold it, it was 73 something. So that just shows you how fast like gold prices and silver prices fluctuate but that's kind of a little idea on how i um how i do my my selling of my gold or my silver is i just um you know i do this and like i said if it's a usable piece don't ever even if it's not a usable piece 
don't ever sell it below scrap online because you can just take it somewhere and, and get that amount. Just, um, you should always be selling it for more. So, um, yeah, so this is how I do it on my gold, on my silver. That Coinflation is a really good app um, to get an idea. Like, so if you, I carry my scale with me all the time. So if you go to a yard sale or an estate sale, you can, they'll let you weigh the piece up. You, you know, you weigh it up, you get on your app real quick and you're like, okay, this is worth this much. I paid this much. Just a tip um, that I have learned from a really good friend, Silver Hair Stacker, um, Todd, and um, you know, watch his videos. If you want to know about watches and gold and silver, oh my gosh, this guy is a wealth of information. An amazing person, great guy, and a wealth of information. So I recommend his channel. I will link it below. Um, go ahead and click on that to get that information. And um, he'll tell you, you know, if you buy gold or silver from an auction or state sale, you're going to pay really close to spot value. And spot value is scrap value. Um, but be aware that if it's a usable piece, you can sell it for more online. So, um, yeah, that's my little tip for today. <laughs> I always have to add something to these what I sell videos. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day and a great weekend. Bye.